Hey everybody, it's Cappy Smack coming to you from Vega Conflict. This is the end of the Reckoning event. It just ended. And now, I am going to repair a couple things on my base because I ran out of coins. But I do have 7.2 million points. And so I think what I need is I really think I need this Pegasus ship. I mean, it's a frigate. It might be cool. Let's see. I'm taking it. And then I think I need Gladiator Battleship Print, because they have not been in the game. And then I think I need the uh, Berserker Print, it has not been in the game. Cutters, I don't think I'm going to really be all that interested in right now. How many points do I have left? 2.2 million. Well, I think what that means is I need uh, these harmonic gizmos. And I got 400k points left. Might not be that much I can do with 400,000 points. Not a whole lot, folks. Alright, so I think I'll take one of these like pulse cannons and then some resources. So I think I need a helium 3. That might be it. Okay. All right. Now I got strong boxes. Repair completed. Repair completed. Repair completed. Of course, the real question is: Is a strong box a strong box after you grabbed it from someone else? I mean, it seems kind of like a weak box if you could open it. You know what I mean? A little existentialism for strong boxes there. A strong box. How strong box? How strong can you be if you've been stolen by someone, and then they're going to open it? All right. So I got a bunch of these boxes, strong or otherwise. I'm going to open them all. Well, there you go. That's what I got. Pretty cool. Or not, but, you know, it's, that's the way it is. Uh, so right now I am building Fury Battleships so I can get a bigger uh, hauler fleet. Reporting. Try and replace my aging... my aging... Uh, Venoms with Fury, because it's been forever a million years. And why not? I mean, what else are you going to do? With an 88, uh, level 88 Axis, a level 86 Axis, and a level 78 Xenom, trying to be a uh, Trying to be Axis. Pretty much won a bunch of prizes for the last six months, five months, whatever it is. Doing really well. Wanted to give a little recap of what I'm doing in Elite Dangerous. As you can see on the channel, I've been playing it a lot. I have reached the lofty title with the Federation of uh, Lieutenant Commander. I'm working on getting the, uh, feder the federal... Uh, Whatever the next fellowship is, I could get it is the. Uh, this escapes me right now. Uh, let's see, the federal. Uh, it's a federal something. 
I've already got the fe uh, I've already got the gunship and the drop ship. Although I use the gunship and not the drop ship because I like fighters. It would be the uh, Federal Corvette is the next one I'm trying to get. I need three more ranks with the Federation. And then I'll be able to spend 187 million on the ship. And meanwhile, I'm trying to kit out my Anaconda. Bought an Anaconda and managed to get it shot out from under me several times the first day I flew it because I didn't realize how the requirements work when docking. Now, in Elite Dangerous, when you're docking a small ship, it doesn't really matter. The ship's going to be through the mill slot fast enough that you're not going to get flagged with a trespass. Uh, but for some reason, the Anaconda is just a big, huge, honking ship. And the big ships have to go through that mail slot no slower than 100 meters per second. If you go any slower than 100 meters per second, you're going to risk a trespass. If you get flagged with a trespass, uh, the station is going to start shooting at you. I had enough armor on my ship that I didn't lose it. A couple times that happened. However, I did lose it at least twice. Fortunately, I don't have such great equipment on it, so the rebuy was around 10 million. Now, my Python has been pretty well kitted out, and it's got a rebuy of around um, 10 and a half, almost 11 million. Fortunately, Pythons are medium ships, so it doesn't really matter when you go through the mail slot. Also, a python can land at uh, outposts, so you don't always have to go through a mail slot. Anaconda can only land on planets, planetary bases, and in uh, stations with a mail slot. So then I thought, hey, I'll use my docking computer and then I won't get shot at. Except the silly docking computer isn't smart enough to know that it has to go through the mail slot at a certain speed. So what did the docking computer do to me? It slowed my Anaconda down, and I didn't get this on film, didn't tape it. <laughs> Lucky me. My Anaconda slowed down coming into the mail slot, and it triggered a trespass, and, you know, it got shot at. So, you know, docking Anacondas is, is a little tricky for me right now. I'm not really used to it. I'm used to smaller ships, so I'm flying around in my Python trying to get more used to bigger ships. So that's where I am. Now the next upgrade I'm doing to my Anaconda is going to be about 100 million. And uh, that is just a, an 8C power plant, 7A thrusters, and um, an 8A power, distri power distributor. That's it. That's about 100 million. I'm a long ways away from having my Anaconda A rated. I do have a Python that's A rated, and it is a nice ship. And I've been able to uh, engineer the modules for the core modules up to a uh, reasonable level. I've been able to engineer my shield boosters for resistance, and it's working out pretty good. It's just level one resistance for uh, my shield boosters on my Python, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool. So that is what I've been doing lately, and... Uh, and that's it for me for Vega Conflict. I still play this from time to time. It depends on what the prizes are. I played this event, even though I didn't play the couple events before this, because they have reasonable prizes. So uh, that's it. If you like what you're seeing, then please subscribe and share. Check me out on Patreon. I'm trying to grow the channel. I've got 93 subscribers. That's great. It's awesome. I thank you all. And, uh, you know, please hang in there with me. I'm trying to trying to do better content. So uh, that's it. Fly safe.